is Miss Scotney and I'm back with your phonics today. So, if you remember, during this week we've been looking at the ghost character in Monster Phonics, okay? Now, the ghost character means that we don't hear the letter, okay? It is silent, okay? So, I've done this again just to help you out a little bit, okay? So, it says, ghost letters make no sound. See it? Write it. Don't say it, okay? So, we see the letter in the word. We have to write the letter, but we don't say the letter, okay? Perfect. Now, I'm going to pop that back here so you can see it. Amazing. So, for this week, the ghost letters that we have looked at. So, you've looked at the ghost letter W and G with Miss Flynn. Yesterday, we looked at B. And then today, we are going to be looking at the ghost letter K. Now, you'll notice in our words that the K ghost letter usually comes with an N as well next to it. So that might be something that can help you when you are writing it. OK, so let's write some words together and come up with some sentences too. So the first word is this one. Remember, we don't say that K. So, mm, oh, mm, oh, no, I know that I love chocolate. No. Now, with this one, I'm going to put it next to this one because there is a special relationship between these two words. So let's read this one first. Mm, ooh. Mm, ooh. No. Okay. So, no, if you know something, but if it's in the past tense, you knew it. Okay? So, it's the past tense of this word. So, Miss Scotney knows she likes chocolate, but you could say, Miss Scotney knew she liked chocolate. Okay? Does that make sense? Let's have a look at another word. Let's read this one together. Mm, oh. Not. Not. I tied a knot with the string. Not. Let's try and read this one. Ooh, I. Ooh, I. Knife. I used a knife to spread the butter on my sandwich. Knife. What sentence could you come up with? This one's a little bit trickier. Mm, I, t. Mm, I, t. Night. Now, this isn't the night when we go to sleep and it's all dark. It's not that kind of night. Okay? This is the kind of night that fights in battles. Okay? Or you'll see them wear lots of silver armour with a shield. That kind of knight, okay? So I could say, I saw a brave knight on the TV. Okay? Mm, e. Mm, e. Knee. I hurt my knee when I was playing football. Knee. learned to knit at school. Knit. Let's try this one. Mm -ock. Mm -ock. Knock. There was a knock on my door. Knock. Well done, we've got two more left. This one's a bit of a long one. What's on your hands? Knuckle. 
I scraped my knuckle when I was playing outside. Knuckle. Okay, and the last one is also a bit of a tricky word. Some of you might not know what this word is. Need. Okay, now this means when you're making bread, you have to knead the dough. Okay, it's that kind of need. It's a little bit tricky because some of these words have two meanings and different spellings. Okay, so I need the bread carefully. Perfect, well done. Now, I hope you can come up with sentences for them as well. Your task for today is to write some of our words in this style. Okay, now can you notice what I have done? So I've written the words, but I've put the tall letters in taller boxes. The normal size letters I've done in smaller boxes. And then the letters that go underneath the line, I've put them in boxes going underneath. Okay, so you've got to look at whether your letters are tall letters, whether they are regular size letters, or whether they are letters that go under the line. Okay. So can you write some of our words presented in this way, in your different boxes? Can you do that for some of our words? I would really love to see that over on Dojo. Maybe you could get creative with it. You could do it in paint. You could do it however you wanted. Okay. Well done, you two. You've had another amazing week and I've loved seeing all of your work come through on Dojo. Have an amazing weekend and I will see you soon.